I turned an IKEA EFI unit and some reclaimed doors into a really cool built-in wardrobe and I'm going to show you how you can do the same. I'm Hester and you're watching Handmade Home. So last week I showed you part one of the big wardrobe build and if you missed that video have a look just over here and you can see how I used the IKEA frame as a base for my wardrobe and today I'm going to show you how I finished that frame and how I hung the doors. So have a look at part two of the big wardrobe build. So since part one of this EFA built-in wardrobe project, I've done quite a bit more. I closed in all the sides so the compartments are proper wardrobe compartments so the clothes won't fall in between each section of this wardrobe and I start the framing. I finished the framing, well almost finished the framing, all the way around the wardrobe. I'm just going to apply the last bit of framing now. So the frame are planks of wood I'm screwing straight into the wardrobe legs, giving it a really nice overall look and also gives me a surface that I can then hang the doors to. The last bit of frame though, there's only one bit in the middle I can screw it into, so the end bits are going to be connected with little dowels. So I just finished the outer frame and I filled the screw holes and the joints with some filler. I'm gonna let that dry, set it up and it's time to paint. As you can see I started on the doors. There's one door in its frame you can see behind me here. And what I'm doing, because in this build nothing is going to be straight. The ceiling is not straight, the floor is not level, the vertical lines are not straight. Neither are the doors that I picked up in the reclamation yard. These are really nice old doors, but not straight. So what I'm doing, I hang the door and then I build a frame around it. Make it a little bit easy for me to make everything made to measure. So the first door is in its place now. I'm just finishing up the frame that goes around it. Then I'm ready to hang the second door. The outer frame in between the doors are made out of planks that are around five centimeters wide. So I'm using T-hinges on these doors, not only because they're super easy to fit, but also because they give a nice rustic looking charm to my wardrobe build, as normally you would find these hinges on barn doors or sheds. Screw the T-hinge to the door and make sure this flat line here lines up nicely with the door. You then put your door in place. And this hasn't even got some way to help you, but I'm just propping mine up with a little bit of timber. I use as long a screw as possible to hang in place. Start by just doing two screws and don't drill them in all the way. Now we're going to do the same thing on the bottom hinge. Once those are in, we can apply the other screws as well and tighten them once we know for sure that the door hangs okay. The door opens and closes fine, so I'm going to put the other four screws in and tighten the first four I already put into the hinges. So now the second door is hung, I can continue building the frame around it. I need to measure how wide the timber needs to be here and also how tall. And the same with above here, how wide the timber needs to be and how tall. Then I'm gonna saw that to size, screw it in place and then it's time to hang this third set of doors, the fourth set and the last bits here on top of here. With the frame built around door number two, it's time for a bit more painting. I try and make the frame fit as good as possible, but if you have small little gaps, don't worry about this. Just get some filler, fill this in, let it dry, sand and then paint. So I'm just about to hang this last door and then my wardrobe build is almost finished. And all these other doors are uh, vintage doors I picked up in the reclamation yard. But this little door is actually an old uh, wooden bath mat that I uh, put some timber behind to make a really cute little um, fence-like door. All that's left to do now is install the hardware. These two big doors are going to get a handle so they're very easy to uh, pull open. The little doors over there are going to get a sliding lock. Let's end to keep the doors closed and also to act as little handles so I can pull them open easily. The big doors also have a magnet inside, making it very easy to keep the door closed.
am so happy how this wardrobe turned out. I think using the rustic reclaimed doors really add a nice atmosphere to the bedroom. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and have a look on my website. Hester's Handmade Home.com is full of craft and DIY tips for your home. And I'll be back next week with a new video. Subscribe not to miss out. See you next week.